guys welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be my monthly favorites for the month of july can't believe it's already over honestly it felt like july has gone by so slow but i'm so happy for it to be over it it was really busy and i've just been stressed out this month and i'm ready for a new month to restart my life and get back on track as you can see my background is a little wild my cat is sleeping in my computer chair, so I really don't want to wake him up just to film one video. So I'm going to film it on the ground, and yes, I do have a zebra blanket covering this window. So, today's video is a collab with my sister Hillary. This is her. We have collabed before, and she is also doing a monthly favorites. She already posted yesterday but I'm having some difficulties with my internet, so it is being posted today on Monday. So yeah, go check her out. All of her links will be down below in the description box, and let's just get started. So the first things that I will be talking about is makeup, and then I just go off from there. The first thing that I have been loving is my eyeshadow that I've been using for my Project Pan, and this is from the Too Faced Hot Buttered Rum Palette, and this is just a mini makeup palette i got in 2019 it's really cute it's just a basic fall makeup palette i love it it smells really good it smells like a caramel like a caramel and chocolatey drink um it smells really good and i've been using my this pale nude shade just to cover up my um, veins on my eyelids and it looks really good so I've been really enjoying that. If you have not checked out my July Project Pan update, I will link it right up above. Go check it out. I'm adding new products and I show my progress with this. The next product that I have been using a lot is sunscreen and I'm going to tell you guys again. This sunscreen by Neutrogena is so good. It does not irritate my skin like most things. I really like it. It is not oily, which I also really like and it keeps my skin so hydrated throughout the day. So basically I use this as a moisturizer and just like base for my makeup because I don't wear foundation. I really like how it stays on my skin all day and makes my skin look healthy and glowy. You can pick this up at any drugstore, any supermarket you have, like Walmart, Meyer, Target. They obviously have it there. I really like this and yes, I just wear your sunscreen, you guys. It has been hot. It's been so hot. This bronzer that I've been loving, besides my Becca bronzer, I'm not going to talk about it again, but you guys know I've been loving that Becca bronzer. I have also been loving my Fenty bronzer now. It's too light. It is way too light for my skin tone right now. Do you see? <laughs> so this is really good as a eyeshadow for me. That's what I've been using it for as well. This is also in my project pan. I'm trying to finish this whole thing up because it is just too light and... It does not really work as a bronzer for me. It works better as an eyeshadow or a setting powder. Because it is so hot, I have been sweating. And as you can see, I'm a little sweaty right now. So I have been using this to set my face and just get my T-zone where it is sweaty. But this is really nice. I suggest if you get this from Fenty, make sure you look at the shades and think about it real hard it's a shame that i wasted so much money on this when i could have got a shade that actually works with, with my skin tone so yeah the next three things are blushes i would like to say i am the blush queen because i love blush and i just can't stop wearing blush so I'm going to talk about them again. Nude sticks. I just love these blushes so much. I cannot stop wearing them right now. The summertime is when I do wear this blush the most. I just feel like it makes my skin look so juicy and sun-kissed. The one that I've been obsessed with the last few months is Sweet Peach Peony. This is so pretty. This is the shade right here. It is a beautiful peachy toned cream blush. Oh my gosh, it is so pretty. I love it so much. These blushes are so creamy. They're easy to blend and it takes two seconds to blend it in. And then the next shade I the next shade I have is Bare Back. This is more of a matte finish. So it is not as glowy, 
but it is very pretty. It is not as glowy, but it is very pretty. It is a purpley mauve color and it is really pretty. You can you can wear these as lipsticks, so they're like a 3 in 1. So you there are multiple ways you can wear this, but obviously this nude color is too nude for my lips. So I do like to use this here and there during the fall and um, winter months just to get a little purpley nude blush if I'm not wearing any coral or orange or brown blush. I do love these nude stick blushes and I highly recommend this brand. The last blush is, mm, I love it so much. I just love this blush so much. Hi, hi Mimi. Oh, hi baby. You come see mama. You come see mama. Mm. Hi, sissy. Hi. Hi. The last blush that I'm going to share with you guys is this e.l.f. blush duo. I cannot stop talking about this one as well, you guys. Go pick this up today. This is the Spiced Apple Blush Duo by e.l.f. e.l.f has so many different shades. I believe there's like five or six in this um, range, but they are so pretty. I do want to pick up uh, two more of them, but they're really pretty and I really just love this. It's so cheap. I want to say it's $6 or less, but it is so good. I have been wearing this one and my nude sticks combined together so, so much lately. It's just, it's a great combo. Definitely pick these guys up. I will have everything linked down below if you want to order online, but you can find this at any of your local grocery stores if you have a Walmart or Meijer, so, or Target or any drugstore. A brush that I have been loving lately is the e.l.f. Airbrush Blender. Now, there is a e.l.f. stipple brush that I have been looking for, but I keep finding the wrong one. So uh, when I went to go pick it up, I bought another one of these e.l.f. Blush brushes, but I'm not too mad about it because I really love this brush for blush. As you can see, it is a little colored from my orange blushes, but it is just a beautiful blush brush. It works perfect for blending in my blushes. If I go a little too hard, I, I like to use this to just even it out and push it up. It's just so perfect. I believe this is $8 or less. Very um, affordable and I do love it. And it's so cute. Like the aesthetic that e.l.f. is coming out with is great. e.l.f. is just doing great with the, their new designs. I really like this. For the next category is kitchen. I like to throw in some new coffee flavors that I'm trying. Anything in the kitchen from food related utensils, anything like that. So you guys, if you have been watching my vlogs, I've been obsessed with K-Cup. Back in my college years, I could not afford to have Keurig K-Cups. So I would have a, a reusable K-Cup that I still have. I've had it for about three years now. I love that thing. That's how I would get, get my coffee fix. I would just buy the coffee grounds and use that K-Cup. Now that I have a job and can afford, I have been splurging a little bit on my coffee flavors and coffee creamers. And lately I have been buying K-Cups. They're still expensive, but it has been saving me money on going to get coffee. So the two new coffee flavors that I have been loving is the Dunkin' Donuts um, Original Blend. The Dunkin' Donuts Original Blend. This is the K-Cup. This is what the K-Cup looks like. It is, this coffee is good. I like it, it's very smooth and I don't need a lot of creamer. So this is just, it tastes really good. So I'm not really of a Dunkin' girl. I get Dunkin' once in a while, but I just don't care for it. But these K-Cups, their coffee grounds, I really do like. Now, the next one, oh my gosh, I just found this a week ago and I'm upset. Green Mountain came out with a new Brew Over Ice coffee. And this one is in the flavor Vanilla Caramel. And it tastes so good. I cannot get enough of this. It does keep me up all day and I really enjoy that because I do need that energy to get me going for work or else I will fall asleep. I really love this and I highly recommend the Green Mountain brand K-Cup. So I just 
picked up these shoes from, from Marshalls and I can already tell you it's going to be a favorite. These are studded sandals from the brand Missionaire. They look just like this. I love them. They feel like I'm walking on clouds. They are so soft and the cushion is just really great for my feet. These are the Steve Madden knockoffs and I'm not mad about it. I'm happy that I spent $13 instead of $60 or $70 for the Steve Madden ones because I did want the Steve Madden ones. I saw these at Marshalls for $13 and had to pick them up and I know I'm going to get so much use out of them and they're, they are just so cute. So the electronics that I have been loving, oh my god, is my Kindle. You guys knew I was going to have this in this video. I love this Kindle. It's in the color Sage. It's so pretty. I have this next to my bed so I can read a few pages or a chapter right before bed and I just love it. I'm still on a week. It's been over a week and I'm still... I haven't had to charge it yet, so that's awesome. But I also am not used to having a Kindle, so I'm still reading a physical book. So that's probably why my battery is still so good. But yeah, this is really pretty. Highly recommend it. And yeah, I love it so much. And I'm glad I finally picked it up. So I don't know if I showed you guys from a vlog or not. But I did pick up another blender bottle and this one was at Target and this was only $10. I picked it up because it was kind of like the one that I wanted but the other one I wanted it was limited edition and it sold out so quickly but I, and I didn't get it. So um, I picked up another blender bottle and I've been loving this. I've been taking this everywhere with me. I've taken it with me to the gym twice but I don't think I like it for the gym because when I'm on the treadmill and like trying to take a drink of this, I keep spilling it all over myself while I'm walking. And it's not a good look. It is not a good look. So I've been using this for work. Instead, I need to have a water a a along with my coffee. So this has been really great to just take with me instead of hauling my big hydro flask water bottle. It's so huge and chunky so having this little this smaller one is a little bit better but yeah I've been loving it I have two more items to show you guys okay I just bought a new purse it is so cute it's pretty huge though like it's a little bit too big for me but I have been loving this purse I picked it up from Target it was $30 and it was amazing I needed a new purse I've been using my Michael Kors purse for over five years and it's just so beaten and that purse needed to be put to rest so pick this up and I'm loving it if you can hear my dog Leo is literally right behind the camera breathing on it so I am so sorry you guys but the last thing that I wanted to show you guys that I'm loving is my planner from Target. I love it. I need a planner with me everywhere I go. I need to be looking at it 24 hours a day to keep myself on track because I have and I'm trying to save some money and just keeping this little planner with me every single day all day long is helping me stay motivated and on track. This is a day designer planner. It's just your basic one that you can get from Target. Um, this one is also at Walmart, so you don't have to go find one in, in a Target, so that's really nice. I honestly just use the monthly spread, as you guys know. I've been loving this little planner. been using it every single day. It keeps me on track. Good news, it fits in my big old purse. I can just take it with me now. <sighs> Alright guys, I know that is a lot of things that I have shown you. A lot of it is reoccurring, but you guys know me. I don't like to buy new things every single month. So if I like an item that I've had for five years, I'm going to keep showing it because it is worth the money. And you don't always need to go out and buy something new every single day just to show a new item on your channel. I'm trying to keep my channel as good and eco-friendly as I can. I don't want to <laughs> push out spending a ton of money because that's just not me. Yes, I'll splurge here and there. I work hard for what I have and it's taken me a long time to get to where I am where I can just splurge for a day if I want to. And it's just really nice. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe and I will see you in my next video.